<laughs> this is fine, because I'm wearing the best set of armor you can make in the latest version of Minecraft. Howdy folks, my name is Speaker4, and this is how to enchant a full set of netherite god armor. You know, I should probably get out of this lava. And you should subscribe. Netherite armor offers a massive durability increase over diamond armor. However, the way you change it and the enchantments you put on it have changed in Minecraft 1.20, at least since the last time I made this video. So the way you make netherite these days is by putting a piece of diamond armor in a smithing table along with a smithing template and a netherite ingot. Netherite ingots can be found in the nether by smelting ancient debris and smithing templates, specifically the netherite upgrade one, can only be found in back and remnants. However, I believe they are guaranteed to be in a chest. So you have to explore your world a little bit more to get them. But to, but to turn your diamond gear into netherite, simply take it into the smithing table, add your, your netherite upgrade, your piece of armor, and your netherite ingot, and you get back a brand new piece of netherite armor. Snazzy. So this isn't technically god armor because it only has one type of protection on it. Since 1.14, you haven't been able to add multiple types of protection to the same piece of armor. And while it is possible to revert your world to 1.14 and get true god armor, you risk world corruption and damaging all your cool builds, so I personally wouldn't advise it. But this is the best armor you can get in Minecraft 1.20. It can protect you from a point blank creeper explosion, a fall from an insane height, up to 45 seconds in lava, and a point blank blow from the ward. And, is that a bunny? It is. And here's the enchantments you put on it. We're going to start with a helmet, but every single piece of gear in here gets these enchantments, just baseline. They get Mending, Unbreaking 3, Protection 4, and Thorns 3. Protection 4 is the highest you can go in Survival Minecraft. It reduces damage by about 15% per piece it's on. Mending allows you to mend your gear with levels. Thorns gives damage to mobs that attack you, and Unbreaking allows the already high durability on Netherite to go even higher. But these are the other enchantments that go on the helmet. Aqua Affinity allows you to mine faster underwater, and Respiration 3 allows you to breathe longer underwater. And frankly, I like being able to breathe, so it always goes on my helmet. Now, I know what you're thinking, Speaker, how do you put all these enchantments on your gear without getting that crappy little not enough levels announcements? Well, I simply go to this website right here, which lists the optimal way to enchant all your armor and gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it. I've linked it in the description, so let's move on to the chest plate. The chest plate, unfortunately, doesn't have any special enchantments that you can add to it, so it's only going to get Mending, Unbreaking 3, Protection 4, and Thorns 3. By the way, if you work with villagers and are going to be doing a lot of converting zombie villagers to villagers, I would advise you to not put Thorns 3 on your armor, because you can kill your villagers pretty easy. Which brings us to the netherite leggings. These get Mending, Unbreaking 3, Protection 4, and Thorns 3 like all the rest of them. However, they also get an enchantment that was added in 1.19 that can only be found in the ancient cities. This enchantment allows you to sneak swifter, which is, you know, why it's called Swift Sneak. Swift Sneak allows you to crouch and move very quickly along the ground. This is really helpful in situations dealing with the Warden and bridging. I like it a lot. It's great for building. With that cover, we move on to the most enchanted piece of armor in our arsenal, the Netherite Boots. Netherite Boots have so many enchantments, it's almost a pain to do them all. But here's what they get. Mending, Unbreaking 3, and Protection 4, and Thorns 3, just like all the rest of them. However, that's where it diverges. They get four additional enchantments. Soul Speed 3, which allows you to walk much, much quicker on Soul Sand and Soul Soil. Depth Strider 3, which allows you to sprint, essentially sprint in the water. And Feather Falling 4, which can protect you from some very high heights and has absolutely saved my life in my hardcore series. Once you put all these pieces together, you end up with about 22 enchantments on one set of gear and the best protection you can get in Minecraft without taking a bunch of potions. The way you craft netherite is not the only thing that's changed in 1.20. In fact, there's now ways to add these designs and customize them natively in vanilla Minecraft. This is called armor trimming and I have an entire video about it that I'll link here that I'll link here at the end. So folks, that is how you enchant god armor, make an enchant gun armor in Minecraft 20. I've been Speaker 4, and I will catch you on the flip side later. Oh yeah, by the way, I do have a link, affiliate link for Minecraft servers with, through Apex hosting in my bio if you want to help support the channel. Alright, check out this video. I'll catch you on the flip side. Later. By the way, I love the look of these ch cherry blossom biomes. Don't you?